There we, yeah, come on, there we go. <laughs> Ahoy everyone, welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... Face your mighty Lieutenant Rakir at your service. And welcome to Showcase Sunday number 121, if I have it correct. And hello there in chat, Pizza. How are you doing? It's uh, well, doing super duper great. Though I uh, thought my previous browser was a little boring, to say at least, and kind of slow. So while I upgraded to the Opera DX, it's been kind of lovely with this. Like I can customize so many things I previously couldn't, and everything handles so good. I have heard a bit mixed things about Opera GX. Like, supposedly it has a bunch of vulnerabilities that other Chromium-based browsers still have. I personally use Firefox, but I might give it a try. Because for some reason, Firefox doesn't let you uh, group tabs together, which makes it a bit of a nuisance to well, look up stuff. <clears throat> yeah, to always be careful. I have, uh, I have heard that there's been so many new browser types that it's going to become a problem of knowing which one's good or not, or which one's scam and all. Yeah. Okay. Before we do much else, though, let me take a quick look at something here. Apparently, uh, <laughs> Durkir has pointed out to me that apparently I sound a lot better on Discord than I do in the actual OB uh, in the actual stream recordings. So let me see. Compensator, noise suppression, limiter, gain. I see nothing specifically here that would lessen the quality. Maybe I can play around with things a bit at some points, but yeah, I have no idea how there might just be such a big difference between Discord sound and OBS sound. Uh, let's see. Actually, what does grouping do? It, it just makes it so that uh, yeah, a bunch of tabs will get uh, grouped together into one that you can open and close, so it'll take up less space. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, for now, uh, what we do with Showcase Sunday is we take a few games and try them out for about half an hour each. Uh, sometimes um, shorter if it's clear that it's not going to be something for us to stream at some point later or not. Uh, 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 right. Uh, I had to remove the uh, always on top for a bit there so I could actually uh, check out <laughs> the filters and such. <laughs> But yeah, the first game we have today is Unrailed. Which, well, apparently there's also a sequel for this game around already. And this game, uh, it, it's a nice little thing from what I've seen, but it doesn't have a story, so it's not going to be much for us. So we'll probably move on quickly from this one after showing a bit of it. Yeah, I, I know of this one mostly thanks to VTubers. Special one that has streams a lot. Let's see. Welcome to new. Uh, I'll start the timer all the same at this point. Uh, let's see. Pizza. Well, I mean, I still do have Edge there as a backup if something does happen to Upper GX. Uh, you might want to ditch X, uh, Edge as m quickly as possible because it's just uh, the Windows Exp Internet Explorer with a different coat of paint and all the Probably same vulnerabilities. Heard. Well, I have heard it's actually better than Chrome. Okay. And, and, I personally find that it doubtful. From someone who works in military security. Okay, we can dash a bit with shift. To craft new track pieces, you need wood and iron. Grab the axe with space and chop that tree by standing next to it. Uh, there is one problem Edge and Chrome share. And that this is, is why many prefer the others. Mm -hmm. It's because they track you for ads. Yeah, that's what basically every browser does, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Put both wood and iron into the box wagon to let the crafting wagon create a new piece, then use it to continue the track. So we pick that up, put it there. That makes a new piece. And there we go. In order to build across the river, we need a bridge. Grab some wood and connect and place it onto the river, then connect the tracks. So, axe, three. Yeah, th this game can be played multiplayer, and that is how it's mostly supposed to be played. Because, well, <laughs> anyone who's seen anything of this you know, game already online knows the utter chaos that can spawn from it. I think pizza misunderstand what I mean with ads. Yeah, like 
uh, commercial ads and such that they constantly bombard you with bullshit. Yeah, Train the rates over time will start to burn. your commercials. Mm -hmm. Is this gonna go into the bucket? Creepy? Fill it at the river. Okay. Yeah, I, I basically just always use an ad blocker, no matter what. Okay, fill that yeah. with water. Okay. And I actually remember the original purpose for ad blockers. That was? Uh, it was not to put block ad for, on YouTube, but there was no ads on YouTube at, at that point, and it's not in that form. However, do, do you remember the early days of going to like an anime site and cartoon site? Yeah. They were not secure at all. They, seems I forgot to put the <laughs> Do Not Disturb on again. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, but, there's, yeah. Still, there's still plenty of ads that will try to hijack your GPU to run Bitcoin or bu other bullshit. Oh yeah, but back in the day it was more <laughs> of a, you have, and it was just annoying, intrusive, and some ads were not ads, but a virus disguised as an ad. If you try to just press no and away, you may have activated device without knowing. And ad blockers were basically to block ads and those. The train reaches the end of the track, the game is over. Try to avoid that. Good luck. <laughs> so yeah, basically, I don't I don't know if there is a known end to this game. But yeah, eventually, uh, let's endless. Let's see. Quick sandbox time versus versus. Let's try a quick one on easy difficulty with that seeds. Checkpoints. Uh, are those on? I'm presuming those are on by default or something. Oh. There's no reaction coming from standing or clicking over here. Okay. Uh, let's see. Pizza. I mean, yeah, I use an ad blocker, and this also does come in with an ill built ad blocker, which even works on YouTube. So, I mean, yeah. Oh, oh, we've got some, we've got an AI helping us with this. Okay. Get the upgrade box to upgrade one of your wagons. Okay. If you play alone, the bot will help you out. You can give it commands using emojis by holding control and selecting with the keys. Okay, that's useful. Uh, let's get it to restock that. If you want the bot to work along a path or close to a specific point, you can let it know with using Q. Okay. I'd honest I actually not really expected this. Hmm. That is Okay, that, that is that is very useful for just guiding around an AI to help you. Let's see. Yeah, you know. Okay, that stuff is already burning when we aren't even moving. Out of the way. Oh dear. Yeah, we just... Add point. Add point. Add enough. Okay. Uh, let's just continue. If you want... Wait, I just... You... There. To there. Let's... Wait, do we need to give it another... Yeah. We probably needed to give it a different command for that. A game! Yeah. I've told it already. Okay, uh, maybe... Um... Yeah. Set it to get water. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Re really game... I've told it to do stuff multiple times now already. So fuck off with that. Uh, you and I get annoyed by this game. Oh, they so annoyed and bored. <sighs> yeah, it, all the same, this is this game is more meant to play with people. The fucking cows are in the way. Okay, well, I guess that's that already. If the game is not going to want to, if the game is going to get stuck on its own stuff, if that might be one of the shortest yet, it's only like 10 minutes or so.
I think we had short to like five minutes and two minutes. Okay. Well, that's the first game done. So let's move on to the next. Let's see, pizza. Anyways, I'm gonna shut up about this before people think it's a spawn. So I just want to say how much better than Edge it feels. Yeah, basically, a brick is better than Edge. <laughs> Again, many military use Edge. And maybe because it's the only well mass thing they have available or something. Uh, many securities are yeah. used, but they say it's secure yeah. enough uh, and all that. Yeah. One thing people misunderstand about military quality uh, stuff is that the military typically gets, well, the lowest quality that they can mass produce enough to, <laughs> to get everything functional. It doesn't actually yeah. mean that it's the best of the best. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't think they use uh, Edge as a military equipment. They just use it. Yeah. Okay, second game for today is V Rising, which, well, also is likely to not be one for streaming outside of multiplayer stuff, maybe, because this is basically like a, it's a survival game, sort of akin to like a Rust, an Ark with a set world. So yeah, let's start. Oh, pizza. I think that thing you talk about that pizza is more of a, uh, some military no, engineers uh, who were... Uh, Try to flex and end up revealing uh, too much. Okay. That's an well, no wonder government um, get leaked on War Thunder. <laughs> now, that's just because there's a bunch of people who are way into that shit. Uh, I think at least one person who was, well, responsible for one of those leaks, uh, quote unquote, disappeared. Oh dear. So why does it need to connect stuff? There's, this is a <laughs> offline uh, PVE. Uh, uh, th this game overall, from what I remember playing it, uh, since I played it a while with some others, it is pretty nice, but it has the same, uh, not really failings, but nuisances of other survival type games, as in you'll be constantly moving out to get a resources to keep yourself alive. Uh, I believe there is... Actually, I don't remember if there's much automation. Like, if, when you set something to be crafted, it will be crafted <clears throat> on its own. It's not like you need to stand there and hold down a button. Uh, but I don't remember if there being much automation. But then again, it's been a few years since I played, I think. So it might have been uh, upgraded and expanded. Also, seriously, why does it need to set up a server? <clears throat> Let's see, pizza. Well, I mean, don't forget about Minecraft and how in a server called Thug Shaker Central also had leaks. Okay, can't say I've ever heard of that before. Um, I guess this counts as one point already against the game because it's doing a bunch of unnecessary loading stuff. Yeah. And other friends wanted me to buy this and play with them, and I just said that this is not the game for me. They told me oh, there has been PvP, PvE, I mean, but I still did not feel for it. Even told them that I, I think this, this one was the one of the games where the developer had bad many games. They realized the game I was thinking was probably the one that made a second extinction. Yeah. Let's see, pizza. Oh, also, and after some digging, uh, and after some digging, I found a free game to play on the Switch. Okay. Uh, I'm hoping for you that it's not like a. a I very much doubt that Nintendo would put uh, something with uh, spyware on their store. With, uh, what is it then, yeah, pizza? I'm pretty sure this is the longest in loading in time we've had with this. <laughs> with Showcase Sunday. It's by Bethesda. Okay. I very much doubt they'd be putting free versions of Skyrim on the Nintendo Switch. Actually, is Skyrim on the Switch? I'm pretty sure it's basically on it almost is. everything. It is on the <laughs> Switch. <laughs> okay, and as always with these kinds of games, you can you start off with making your character. So we can select between two body types. I will say this, and... the female model looks way better than the dude. What? Okay, did not expect that. 
Okay, let's just hit randomize a few more times. And then we'll just get started and start the timer. <laughs> okay, let's just let's go with that. Let's see, Skyrim is on the switch, it's not free. Okay, starting the timer now. Just remind me, I... it seems Elder Screw 6 is on its way, but after Storfield, it seems people no longer excited for it. Yeah, understandably. Like, honestly, with how Bethesda has been lately, I haven't been excited for Elder Scrolls 6 at all. I'm, I'm pretty sure Skyrim is where the company is going to peak and will immediately afterwards just crash and burn. You mean like a lot of AAA studios? Yep. Okay, we need to collect some bones to make ourselves a bone sword. Switch, yeah, did but... I just see the fucking cloaker from Payday? Uh, I don't... I don't what randomized uh, that was. It, you know, it looked like a cloaker from Payday. Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about there, Pizza. I, like, I'm aware of the cloaker being a very uh, feared unit or feared enemy in uh, Payday, but I don't think I saw anything like that. Okay. Claim my rewards. For sure. Okay, then we can... Where can we craft the weapon? Uh, no, that's an ability. Uh, not here. There's no. Not being triple A. AAA's are doing very bad at the moment. But also, computers in general, like... Many years ago, it was almost like every fourth or third year you got a new uh, uh, graphic card. Now? Bloody heck, it's... Ever since 2020, it feels like they've been speeding up how many new graphic cards uh, Nvidia is making. Almost most every third month is a new one or something. Yeah, not that bad, but yeah. They have also, been speeding up a lot. You have to uh, also, confess. Yeah. Also, game, are you going to tell me how to craft that, or are you just going to? But yeah, the reason I'm bringing all this for... Ever since 2020, they realized more and more people are building their own computers. Many computer companies in Nvidia included drop quality to quickly mass produce new models as often as possible and as fast as possible with very little quality control. Hmm. I mean, it almost looks like triple yep. A games. Uh, not surprising and, at all. There, uh, really, and of course, you, it's reading. It's reading out from that from my game from my computer's the date, which is in Dutch, of course. Oh, so it, it is Dutch, all right. A nice detail. But yeah, but, but I have to be thinking. Well, one of the times, the head boss of Bashida. To, uh, but he told people to the, that are probably playing uh, Starfield that they just need a bit new computers. That there's nothing wrong with the game. Not only did I find mm. that extremely rude, I also feel like it's also why deflecting did he blame from them that? not making, you know, not actually optimizing the game. Yeah, but also make me worry for another thing. That be what if Triple E Studios are. Okay, this is a bit of conspiracy theory almost at this point. That they are working with the computer companies to try to make sure they make games that force people to buy better parts. Or at least mm. what they, they call better parts. Yeah, I, Which, I would just put it more up to just plain incompetence than yeah, that. Yeah, but you do see where I'm coming from. Yeah. Or, let's say... That if I my theory is proven true, that the game companies and the PC makers are actively trying to make make games that trick you to buy a better computer, 
often, or at least but better parts more often. I wouldn't be surprised if that was something that some were thinking about. Yeah, but, but honestly, those would very quickly get filtered out. Yeah, but let's say if that was true, how would you react? Or do, how do you think most people would react if that was proven true? Yeah, they would just not buy those games or those parts. Yeah, but at the same time, we only know we live in a time where computers is extremely needed. Like, sure, there are mm. those mini computers that are just good for just paying your bills and all that. But still. Plus, if, 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 that, if that was something that was going on, then there's always still indie devs who, whose games can basically be run on a calculator. Yeah. But we even have computer companies who want to, make, to buy you the newest Windows 11 and all that. Uh, like, I mean, at the point, I, I've been seeing so much, like, I see some pushback about against many things, finally. I just hope they are, it's not too late. But it also feels like whenever someone is trying to fight back, a company tries to quickly make three or four new things to... bad things to do. You like fight people fighting the other the thing. Mm. Almost like there's a I will mean, not be surprised if there is a aggressive hyper capitalist problem going on. Now that's been They're going on for years already. Yeah, and I and actually worry that, that it's getting worse. Are they uh, they stop caring about the customer, they actually just care about the money. Is it <laughs> Perfect. Again, that's been going on for years, if not decades. Yeah, you know, I feel like it's getting worse and worse. Yeah, the problem with that is something we've discussed before. I think that the people who typically get uh, promoted in companies like that are the people who, well, lead to the most uh, money made, not the actual people who know how what the fuck everything is. So basically, they're only, well, promoting marketing people who, well, don't know what the fuck they're doing and then get to tell people to do some stupid stuff. And, well, that's how you get just nothing to be done. And hello, yeah, and Rom. Yeah, and then we will share thing. Hello, Rom, who did not jump scare me this time. How are you Rats. today? Fine. I was gonna say, um... So... What you doing? Yeah, showcase Sunday, so you're showing off games uh, for about half an hour each to see if they're any good for streaming at some point later. And yeah, the first game today was quickly cast aside on rail because it got stuck with its own uh, instructions. Still a good game for multiplayer shenaniganery, but yeah, it doesn't have a story, so not really our thing. And yeah, honestly, this one is going to get cast aside in a bit anyways, because, well, it's a multiplayer only, not, not multiplayer only, it's a multiplayer survival game. Uh, yeah, there isn't really actively any story to go on. But then just, well, build stuff, become stronger, kill stronger stuff, build stronger, uh, uh, kill stronger stuff, build stronger stuff, uh, and just repeat that uh, until you get bored. Somebody made mm. Pal World cosmetics. <laughs> okay. <laughs> of course. <laughs> At this point, uh, XCOM stuff is like uh, Rule 34. If it exists, <laughs> there's XCOM mods for it. <laughs> oh, gods. Okay. You're probably not wrong. But yeah, one major part of this game. Yes, is this here? Is that we can feed off of... Well, we're freaking vampires, of course we can feed off of things. But then we can make use of the blood type. And you can see those percentages, that's how, well, pure or strong it is. And each different type gives different effects. And even to certain uh, thresholds, it will give even stronger effects. Let's see, we can see it here. Blood type creature. Stage five, uh, 1 is 3 to 15% extra movement speed, 10 to 25 increased sun resistance rating, because, well, of course, we're vampires, we're going to burn into the, uh, in the sun. 
uh, damage reduction, etc., etc. Basically, the lower, the higher, the closer to 100% uh, you get, the stronger the effects are going to be. And, well, we're also going to be slowly draining this because, well, we need to feed sooner or later again. Oh dear. Oh, I see something. Pizza written something here. Let's see. From pizza reminds me of the time when Diablo on the phone stopped. Yeah, Diablo Immortal. The, the less said about that game, the better, because uh, yeah. if, I, if I, anything yeah, was I a death like... knell for Bethesda and not for Blizzard, it was probably what? that game. Yeah. yeah. That one is one of those many that uh, definitely made people lose trust in them. Uh, and I, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't feel like that I mean, one is the, a, one of the information that will never die. Definitely. And then, you know, everything that's been going on with Overwatch and yeah. all Souls practices, the reveals of what's going on behind the scenes. Another accomplishment. Yeah, just no good news has come out of that company in a long ass time. I've made a mental joke that any time, like, any time uh, Blizzard makes a character and they say, oh, they're, or they say a character is, oh, they're from, like, this specific group of, like, yeah. a, a member of the LGBTQ community, or they're from a minority, my brain instantly goes, okay, which crime are they guilty of now? Yeah. Okay, I will say this. There's a bunch of new monsters around, like that spider thing, the corpse pile. Hmm. Sunday, February 21st, 25th. Yep. Okay. But yeah, I mean, it's not. I'm not trying to discredit any sort of attempt at, like, going up. More representation. LP, more rep no, yeah, more representation. But the thing is, with Blizzard, this feels like a pattern. Like, they do something. They try and bring out a character as, like, a smoke screen. That's what I'm trying to get to. Yeah, yeah. or it comes out as... Distraction. In distraction or ingenuine? Or, in a way, missing the point? Yeah. It's probably why it is, like... Uh woke like they, they mm. preach good stuff but when you look at them you see just a lot of hypocrisy mm. yeah like they say equal to all they blame everything on every single white middle-aged man they they all fall for everything that's an example of hypocrisy i wouldn't say that's more like the people who are against uh equal representation and such, blame it on, uh, or say that everything gets blamed on those types. Uh, yeah. I think we've shown yeah. enough about this game. You, you can build a base or a castle, which you can upgrade over time as well. You can build multiple as well, but yeah, overall, just the style of it and uh, <laughs> the fact that it's so slow with things is definitely a, a sign that's of a nope. Yeah, so, I just remember something I heard recently. I'm not sure how true it is, but it seems to maybe have some truth. Disney is being sued for discrimination against uh, white folk. Can't say I've heard of that. And... Yeah, neither have I. Yeah, yeah. As, one of the, <laughs> the I heard first from yeah. is from Ark, which I, I don't trust him at all. But I've seen from other front as well, and I'm too surprised. But yeah, I'm still 50-50 on the info. Yeah, one thing to keep in mind, Drakir, is that a lot of the the anti-LGBT LGBT and anti-equality people will be shouting yeah. and bullshitting whenever they can to basically flood the science, flood the, yeah, flood yeah. the playing, the playing field, which is much bullshit to the point that it can't be, you can't trust what is what, you know, what is real anymore. So... Yeah, and I, that's my problem. I had seen that behave from both sides so much, I don't know who to trust at all. Mm, yeah, basically, if, if one shorthand uh, to go well, a bit political with it, not that, well, we are 
non-political here. If any sides, well, it's basically sides with the, uh, yeah, Trump and the American uh, Republican Party discarded immediately because they have been just pumping out propaganda for decades. Yeah, I heard those. Mm hmm. Okay, and yeah, next game we have here is, well, Vampire Survivors. We went from being a vampire to a survivor of vampires, and I don't really think I need to say too much about this game, since, well, this spawned the entire survivor, survivors genre. Actually, I need to confess, I, I, I heard of this game, but I've never seen it. <laughs> I've only seen the older games it spawned, but not this one specifically. Well, this this will be a first for you then. Also, let me check on pizza. Uh, all right, this game has, by the looks of it, a dying community. But hey, some of the guilds are hilarious. Like there is a guild uh, called literally the Cheese Union. <laughs> I'm presuming that you mean the game you found. What's it called, actually? Uh, pizza also. For some reason, the Assassin Brotherhood is also a guild. The game is pretty hilarious, even with a dying community. Now, this game, I remember it good. Uh, yeah, basically... In this game, you aren't active. In the survivor genres, you aren't actively attacking yourself. It's, I believe the word is auto fighter or something. It's not an auto battler. That's what you have with those battle chess games. Yeah, basically, you select a character who will start out with specific traits, like Antonio here, who is totally not supposed to be a Belmont. Uh, he gains 10% more damage every 10 levels plus 50 percent max Wait, hang on, hang on. let me let me guess uh not not trevor not cypher not white mage not conan the barbarian that's just a cleric of the uh, that's literally just alucard that is fucking yep. alucard <laughs> that's an old man that's a cleric and yes that's, that's garlic not his nuts <laughs> That's a succubus, that's a skeleton, and there's a bunch of other ones. Wait, 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 wait. Is, uh, is that succubus on with a electric guitar? Yep. Yeah. Okay, that's... I will confess, that's new. Uh, let's see. Uh, Gennaro Belpase, permanent plus one projectile on weapons. Let's go with him. These are the mid, these are the levels that I've cleared with any of these characters, and well, it's easy to see who I use the most. Am I only one him. who feels that there's a lot of Latin names here or Latin styled? Oh, hold on a sec. Oh, I mean... that explains a thing or two. <laughs> the volume way down. Okay. Yeah. Uh, with these survivor games, typically the things start out really simple, but over time you will unlock entire new features and modes with things like this over here, max weapons and egg stuff. Also that, that is all just extra stuff that I've unlocked over time. So yeah, let's just start and just start on the normal level. Uh, yeah, just start. Oh yeah, this is also something that got added on eventually. Uh, let's see, healing is doubled, recovering HP damages nearby enemies for the same amount. Uh, Gain up to three bounces and make pass through enemies and walls. Let's just pick that. So yeah, basically things start off real simple, but over time they can get really in-depth. Oh god, this feels old school. <laughs> okay. Let's pick different weapons will have different effects, like the standard knives here. They will get thrown into whatever direction you're facing. The Bibles, well, they orbit you for a bit, then vanish. And yeah, just don't get touched by enemies or get hit by any projectiles. So it is mostly by contact that enemies seek to damage you. And collect these gems that they drop for experience. And with every level, you can get you can pick stuff. Uh, we can upgrade the King Bible to have one more projectile, or get like the magic wand. Let's see, Pizza, I'm pretty sure you can connect uh, the, is to Twitch so viewers can control what your powers are that you get. I turned my friend who streamed this game into Indiana Jones and <laughs> gave him all the whip abilities and anything and everything to do with whips. Okay, that could be fun. Well, we, we don't we don't have too many people typically on the stream, but it would still be fun just to have that happen with some people. 
I, I would probably be against it for. I feel like, okay, so it's fun on paper. I have seen too many thumbnails to know how bad it can go. Let's see, cursed yeah, item, you mind crystal. Seen a, uh, what was the name of it? Um. Hmm? Rock something. Rock. I have it on my wish list, but I can't fucking remember the name. It was. Turok? No, it wasn't Turok. It was uh, something else entirely. Give me a second. Okay. Cluster Truck, yeah. If you've oh, seen a yeah. cluster truck stream, you know what can happen when you put it, when you allow the internet to use. Yeah, cl cluster truck is a. Uh... A platforming game where you have to well jump between trucks and well things get very very hectic. Okay, oh, let's get the garlic. And is it pizza say that you can't really get through screwed? From what I heard and I've even seen, giving the viewers too much power can really mess uh, with the gameplay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, sometimes bosses will uh, spawn. Uh, who if well they tend to be very obvious when they you know you kill them they'll typically drop some stuff like a chest from which you can get more stuff and yeah, basically the goal is stay alive and well <laughs> keep upgrading your gear and yeah try to survive until typically a half an hour or so okay I can see why people like this not that game for me though yeah. I it's not for everyone. I can probably go off the video. I think mm. you gave me the game actually. This game actually has co op? Yes, it literally said it on the main menu. <laughs> okay, I, I missed it because I've never played this. Uh, I haven't played this too much. Uh, because I still don't understand a lot of the mechanics of it. So many bats. Okay, uh, let's get another Bible. Uh, so many bats, so many yous! <laughs> okay, uh, let's get another of the magic wand. Certain combinations of items can be combined if you get them to the max level, or at least one of them to the max level, to, well, give you an evolved item. And over here you can see what we have at the moment. We can have up to six, <clears throat> up to six no, weapons wait. and six extras, I believe. Yeah. Hmm? No, never mind. Okay. And yeah, as time progresses, more and more tougher enemies will spawn in, like skeletons now. And you just often these swarms will pass by, typically good for a lot of experience. Okay, uh, let's see. These This shows, or t this typically becomes only visible after you found the evolution. But these show, well, what they can interact with to become something else. So let's, let's take the attract orb. Because, well, picking stuff up from a further distance is always going to be useful in these games. Oh yeah, it's so windy. Um, even more knives. If I were to see, <laughs> then again, I don't know if all these skeletons is copyrighted. <laughs> I oh. don't think it is. Uh, let's, see. let's see, pizza. Da, 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 da. I can't go. Uh, it can't go too bad at all. You can't really get on full, full on screwed. In these types of games, I always go for AOE over everything else. Now, I, I typically go with uh, yeah, AoE around you, because they will always be coming at you, and you you should actually be moving into them as much as possible, because, well, you need the experience to gain more stuff and such. Mm. Too many. And yeah, throughout this we are also collecting coins, with which we can up uh, purchase permanent upgrades. Even more knives. Actually, it kind of reminds me of uh, how, how it is for me to watch YouTube nowadays. Who? Oh. Let's say the EMC the content I want to watch. Mm -hmm. And the monsters every damn propaganda video I'm trying to avoid. 
<laughs> From both sides. I just want to watch something fun and entertaining. But watch propaganda. Uh, yeah, I, I do think, think you can you relate can. me in that way, correct? Mm. Yeah, I do think you can. Yeah, I think you can set up stuff to have certain stuff blocked from your search or so. Or at least if you. If, you can block channels so that those don't get recommended to you anymore, so that should typically help. Oh, then I know this one certain YouTube I do want for. I, I don't watch a lot of 40k videos, but this one 40k YouTube I'm avoiding like a plague. I think you've but spoken of them before. Yeah, for he is um, very unpleasant. Ah. Yeah. Okay. The timer went off, so. Yeah, let. <laughs> This, this is this is a good little time waster game. It, it, it actually, something's starting to attack out. Yeah. Um. yeah, big ass mantis. Wait, Sometimes mantis. events will happen like these encirclements in this level. Just need to break out of them somewhere before they close Ooh, in on you. I think that. Are those tulips? Mm. Not sure, but they're definitely carnivorous. Three upgrades to Santa water, which is totally not holy water. <laughs> I'm suddenly concerned over someone placing a curse on uh, the tulip farms in Netherlands. <laughs> Let's see, lightning ring, strikes at random items, evolves with the duplicator. Uh, let's grab that. See, typically you want to find a balance between getting new stuff and, well, empowering stuff you already have. Uh, yeah, we also have just map. Typically, there is some stuff that you can get for free if you can get over there. Yep, vampire survivors, Marco, and also hello. <laughs> hello, Polo. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. love of <laughs> achievement finds twenty Orlongians. What? And unlocks hyper wipeouts. Okay, look in the menu. Hmm. Okay, I mean, click done and go to the main menu. Uh, let's see, does it, uh, quick start, power up, collection, okay, bestiary. And... Ah, co-op. Okay, right here in the corner, that, where I've never looked before. <laughs> let's see, can it, oh, can only be done local? Yeah, I okay. just now noticed that. Oh, uh, well. But yeah, might be for just chill Why streams. Do you have <laughs> Uh, because that's in the next, you know, that's in the lineup for it. <clears throat> yep, alphabetically. A yep, it's a telltale. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Marco, fourth time Drakir called me Polo in a row. <laughs> okay, then it's my turn to do something here. Uh, da, 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 da. I there. have that one. Ow! <laughs> Who got bonked? Drakir, for calling Marco Polo again. Also, you Come might want on. to fix that. That is... It's the game iffy. is not actually proper just. Okay, uh... Gotta remove this then. I don't know why this happens sometimes. I think some games just start up with a different... Uh... Yeah, let's see, just click it there. Uh... Okay, why is it not... Uh, let's see, ST... Wait, did it? Okay. okay, apparently it got removed from the automated stuff, so... No, it's... It, it, it even remembered this, so it's definitely... Okay, something fucky went on with that. Yep, not full screen. Windowed full screen as it's trying. Yep. Oh, wait, I, I remember now, I remember now. Uh, I removed removed that there. This game does not play nice with borderless gaming. So quickly options. Uh, uh, there. Keep. Uh, okay, now everything's to this. Okay, now it looks better. Yeah, I just need to quickly let's see gameplay. It seems I forgot uh, yeah. this. It seems. Uh, let's see. Turn that on and turn it over. Yeah, I, I forgot to set up a game capture for this. My bad on that. 
What the? Why is it up in the corner like that there? Or wait, what the heck is? Okay, that's I'm not, like that's not... This game. Hmm? Let's see, is that? No. What the? Okay, for sp now it's not even playing nice with the game capture. Okay. Uh, yeah, let, let's just keep it as this then. This is about probably as close as I can get it into the border for uh, into the box for a bit. Yeah, no, uh, we can't. Okay, yeah. wait. There. Okay, there. there. It, it actually yeah. is in the box. Yeah, this, there's a bit missing on this side here, but yeah, this welcome to Viscara Cleanup Detail, the Shadow Warrior uh, edition. I'm pretty sure I got this free with one of the Shadow Warrior games. Yeah, the, the first of the reboot. Also, I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Viscera. Yeah, Viscera, Viscara, uh, Potato, I mean, it's Potato. <laughs> yeah. I think it's Viscera. Uh, okay, Let's give a solo. I Okay, I can play with you if I ever wanted to unread all the damn thing. Oh dear. Okay, only one place. But yeah, uh, I don't think Viscara uh, cleanup detail needs too much introduction as well. It's basically a sort of power war simulator, only you have a mop. <laughs> I just can't I can't stop thinking about uh, the main character from Shadow Warrior. For I've seen the uh, <laughs> CB 11's video about them, those games. Yeah. yeah, it was actually a classic version. This is the uh, newer one. Yep. Uh, and the I'm character actually... the same, basically the same personality. Basically. Yeah, some <laughs> less racist. Yeah. Although there, the, the dev team's literal... Like, it, the dev team was a bunch of 20-somethings who just wanted to make a game about a ninja shooting nukes at people. I don't think they cared that much for accuracy. They just wanted to be fun. Yeah. Um, I was going to go the pounds. I've the other half there. <laughs> what? Uh, I've already started the timer on this, but yeah, I I'm actually considering putting some of the Shadow Warrior games on the two stream list. Like the first two were good, but I've heard that the third one drops the ball. Anyway, I've so. Never so played, hmm, or, I've played the first game and. I haven't played the second game because I need to upgrade my PC, and I haven't played the third game because I need to upgrade my PC. I do have the older versions, this uh, Shadow Warrior Redux. Okay. Yeah, basically the whole goal here is to, well, clean up the place of all the blood, gore, <laughs> bullet casings, and everything. And yeah, you'll notice, you'll notice that the mop is getting more and more bloody. <laughs> nice Caleb reference. Uh, so, you want to, uh, fun. so basically, the whole of Viscera cleaning simulator is that. What sort of party was this? Was that yeah. is that you're effectively called in after the events of like an entirely different game or movie happen, and you're just sort of like cleaning up everything, all the dead bodies and shit. Yep. <laughs> Like, uh, someone's gone to town around here. And yeah, if your mob gets too bloody, then instead of cleaning, well, you'll be painting the place with blood yourself. This makes sense, for you do need to wash out the damn thing, otherwise you're spreading it more. Yeah, and of course, half the fun comes from people, well, painting the entire area just to fuck around. Yeah, and this, in this specific level... Is actually the first level of the Shadow Warrior reboot. Yep. Oh dear. And we I actually just showcased that game uh, a while back. Yeah, you showcased the remake, didn't we? Yep. Yep. Also, did our character here just try to speak like Lu? Is yep. his name Lu Wang? It would not be. Uh, they probably wouldn't hire the same person who messed up the place in the first place. But they, they definitely sound like they have a similar personality. They're even whistling. To be fair, you're a janitor. You gotta do something to pass the time. Yep. 
You might want to take that hat and just throw it somewhere. Yeah, because they're <laughs> it bouncing everywhere is kind of wait, making a mess wait, of its I own. Something, I saw something of value. Which thing? I'm pretty sure I saw some money. Hello. I think we might be playing like a, a younger version of the old uh, Lang. I think you might be right. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> give it to us. Wait, 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 wait what are you doing? Yes. Uh, it's a, it's a hands uh, off property of the janitor. Yeah, that's basically our the money thing. in there. Uh, so, yep. he, it said hands off. <laughs> you said pants off. <laughs> Okay, we can lose stuff out of these, but I kind of want the ninja star out of it and just put it in the box. <laughs> You're the one who decided to put it in the biological stuff. Yeah, that's because I kind of overlooked the box here. Don't know what that is, but it's mine now. I'm guessing these are sort of like Yakuza dog tags or something. I think those were USBs. Now they had names on them. Also, uh, if Listen, I shut you up. You, uh, I think you use the use button. Uh, it would be nice if we knew the use button. Uh, options, Option. controls. Mm-hmm. Mop, hits, hands, sniffer, tool. Uh, you'd think use would be at the top somewhere. Uh, interact, mouse one, right trigger. Okay. Uh, so we don't have we don't have an interact button except for the pickup. Is there That's an incinerator here somewhere? This typically is an incinerator somewhere for the biological stuff. Up there. Okay. How are you hanging? Hello, I pulled that one up. That's from Very Resilient Radio. <laughs> Let's see, chat. Uh, we're low there. Uh, I'm okay, good to hear. Yakuza, you have my attention. <laughs> okay, at least we're away from that thing, because it, that was actually really loud uh, for me, even. Drink. <laughs> Starting our own entire collection. Still got it broken. Okay, broken vase. Oh, it was a waste lid. Now you got a split personality. <laughs> yeah, th this is definitely... Uh, this is definitely an, uh, one. What is the word again? Uh, opposite of ancestor and such. Uh, come on, drop it in there. Uh, descendant. Yeah, well, this is yeah, definitely descendant. a descendant of a low, of a yes, certain uh, of a low wang. Time yeah, to make it rain. <laughs> What I remember of Lu Wang from Steam Studios. I knew him. Nice guy. Curvy jokes. Horrible puns. Just like the captains. Almost. Fun fact. And something. Uh, wait, I did I say pervy jokes? <laughs> pervy jokes. Per Sorry. Yep. Yes. Yeah, you can double right. up on those. Yeah. Do, I do also do the, do the whole lot. His accents were a little bit over exaggerated. Very over exaggerated. Yeah, do it again. It, in the, it from the way back like then, you can almost expect that kind of things to happen. The smell of progress. The smell of progress, really? So here's a fun fact: you can actually find Sailor Moon on the on one of the levels in the original Shadow Warrior. 
Oh, oh no. Wait, wait, wait. Also, that I think can happen. That, I, I think I know which one you mean. For is it the infamous one? Which infamous one? Also, you might want to put the revolver uh, not in the incinerator, but in your stuff. Just for the hell of it. Yeah. If I remember right, from what Siri said, there was a lot of naked anime women. Oh yeah, there are naked anime women, but Sailor Moon isn't naked. Thank goodness for that would have been so unwise to do. Actually, yeah, that would be completely considering easy. so. Especially considering that the the sailor scouts are underage and all that. It makes it really weird when you look at them and go, bullshit. Yeah, right, people, yeah. people say they, they are 14, but maybe do you think they look a little bit older than that? Yeah, because you look at them from like, like say you look at them in the poster and go, okay, they're probably like, I don't know, 17, 18, you find out, wait, they're, wait, they're 14, what? Yeah. How yeah. are they this tall? Yeah, some people are early bloomers, I get that, but... Uh... Rise, warrior. Yeah. <laughs> but oh, yeah, oh, I wait, think wait. we've seen enough about this character. Could be you know, fun for multiplayer shenanigans, but no story yeah. and no stream. In, may I say the title here to help you out? Yes. Go ahead. Velgar the Viking. <laughs> uh, but yeah, part of that with Sailor Moon and stuff is because Japan has always had much lower age of consent and such, or age of adulthood. Like, you were considered, uh, yeah, adults when you were like, when you'd hit like 16 or something. But I'd like the full details on that. Okay. Oh no, they've been trying to change that. Many of them have been driven by the school students who want to change that. Yeah. Also, I think you recently brought up that uh, the arrow keys aren't really used anymore for controls. Now, apparently this game does use them. That is kind of nice. Yeah. Let's start. We can zoom in. Okay, hold down the X to hit. Okay. Greg, is that... Wow. <laughs> Killed me money, Captain! <laughs> okay. Bastard! Z to jump. Okay, so these these are basically uh, controller... Uh, uh, controller con <laughs> inputs uh, moved from the... Uh, <clears throat> moved to the keyboards. Let's see. Spears thrown at this. The platforms... Okay. He's really like, there's a hammer on his shield. Not painted, but an actual hammer attached to his shield. Okay. Okay, this, this game is looking to go for an old arcadey feel. Oh, coin. I'll take that. You haven't seen any story yet. <laughs> yeah. With these games, I, I, I do mostly just check to see if the games actually function, if I don't know uh, uh, much about them. Beyond that, I typically don't really touch them for Showcase Sundays. And, okay, the blue ones take two hits. Hold down in mid-air to attack below you. Okay. I should probably say this. I don't recall any listenmen in Norse mythology. New shields. So I know these are. I'm going to presume that the shields represent health and such. So that you, if you, yep, yeah, if you take another hit without one, you're probably going to, yeah, die <laughs> quite horribly at that. And he just reforms at that. Okay. Okay. A bit simple gameplay, but functional all the same. Yeah. Um, mm. uh, yep. I think uh, me and Rom may want some umbrellas for this one. Oh. Because of the blood showers? Yeah. And bones. <laughs> and we're bones. <laughs> okay, so when we get one of those shields, we just immediately chuck a spear. Speaking of. Yeah, I probably should use those myself more. 
Yep. Hmm. Yeah, the armor in Ghost and Goblin. Yeah. Get in. <laughs> Okay, yeah, you want to use this spear at those further away before they get too close. Yeah. Okay. I, I like that it's actually being challenging, not like uber hard, one mistake, you die and such. And well, I am splitting my attention between the game and actually commentating as well. Well, we can go full co commentators here and uh, narrate these like uh, old commentators or something. It's uh, probably nothing down there but death. Uh... <laughs> okay. Really? Even the freaking bees? And whatever the heck that is? Or rather uh... was. Okay, I mistook. I swapped the jump and attack buttons there. Hmm. Yeah, it, it does look like it's just going for an old school uh, Genesis uh, arcade uh, style and such. Uh, it would be interesting to see if there's much story further in. But would it be better if they just started off with showing story if there was? Yeah, no, here's the problem with that era you were mentioning. Yeah, they Most of the stories that were much. in the manuals. Yeah. Okay, I should have expected that. And for everyone who had been from that era, and uh, or even got games from that era, probably know the older the game, the more likely the damn manual is missing. Yeah. Or missing pages, especially if it was more old, like Nintendo 8 bit. They had a. Uh, had a, a few of those consoles. It had two for them for some reason. And yeah, many of the manuals were missing pages, all falling apart. There we go. Ah, damn it! <laughs> okay, I might play this some more on my own time when I can fully focus. Uh. I'll put a I'll put a yes or no on it after that. It, it, like, it looks interesting, but if there's no story, then it's a very big no. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, next game, and again, I don't think this one needs too much introduction. It's the Telltale Walking Dead series. One that we probably won't stream for. I feel like we're gonna end up having the same problem, like. Uh, with the game uh, Wolf Among Us, was it? I, I'm still willing to stream that one, but... Uh, yeah, the style of the game doesn't really fit too much with our type of streaming, because, well... <laughs> it kind of shuts the both of us up with uh, being able to commentate too much. I mean, we could always just be the sarcastic background commentary to what's going on. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, we, yeah we, we all kind of like the sarcastic masters, aren't we? Hmm. Let's see. Choose a display style, standard, more help from UI. Glenn will remember you lied. Minimal, turn off hints. Okay, let's put it there. Okay, episode one, a new day. Starved for help. Long road ahead. Around every corner. No time left. 400 days special episodes. That one actually okay. leads into, I think, the second season. Yeah, there is. There were two seasons of this. But now let's just get no, started on the first one. I see a lot. I have there some. Four seasons. I have some DVDs of The Walking Dead. I still have not watched. I just didn't okay. watch them for. I heard people. People tell me the seasons around those have been bad. Yeah, it's been going downhill past a certain point where it, it should have stopped. You guys do realize that The Walking Dead kind of ended last year, right? Yeah, Alright, I did hear something about that, yeah. But it, from what I heard, it should have ended like four seasons earlier. Because they just couldn't resist milking it for all it was worth. Wait, oh, to me the... Wait, I thought they had like ten seasons or 
16 at, at this point. Too many in any case. Yeah, it looks like we're in trouble. Well, yeah, sadly, the, the Walking Dead well, started out strong. I you didn't do it, then. Hmm? I forgot the hmm. subtitle. Why do you Does say it really that? matter? Nah, not much. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. And what do you say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. We got what looks like a 1091 I just realized he's wearing the exact same. Follow your case a little bit. You being a maker going on. Let me actually do this quick. Uh, audio. It's either on, no, 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 I think it's on uh, gameplay. Mm -hmm. no. Full screen off. Okay. It, it, it's it's annoying. Sometimes they put that on their sound, sometimes on their gameplay, but I wouldn't yeah. count subtitles as gameplay stuff. Either way, let's resume. What do you think? I'm just glad I chose law and not order. They miss a trial like that. Even if you was innocent, a lot of what happened can't ever be undone. So here's something funny I just realized, and I've already played this game on the PS3. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a six year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Sure. That's lots going. Yeah. Sure. I want to tell after all. Regardless, hey. it could be you just married the wrong woman. <sighs> nope, can't bring them out. Chopper. Oh, yeah, and even more thing. swats. Also, I was about to say that that officer is wearing I'm the exact same. He, he was the worst one. Oh, he's he uniform that Rick wears in the TV show. Okay. He was an older fella, big soft guy behind he's part a pair of, the of smart folk County glasses. He just laid back there. Says it wasn't him. The crying and snotting all over right he where he should. He takes to the prison as anyone's guess. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. Yeah, people can and absolutely people will delude themselves. When they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one uh, dude. depressing and a bit more Walker. hilarious if I do say so. What's out? Rule one of driving eyes front. Oh, so he's just flopping around like a ragdoll in there. Well, like he's got the seed belt on, Lee does not. Hey, our main character is called Lee. And I think it's about time we leave. Let's see, Marco, Four Seasons, uh, Walking Dead, Walking Dead Season 2, Lost Frontier, and Walking Dead Season 3. Okay. I would have had more, along with the spin-offs. No, he's talking about the... Uh... No, yeah, he's talking about the game. Uh, oh, alright. Uh, oh, shit. Thirsty. Ah. 
Fuck. My leg. Ah, oh, great. And open wounds. Why the hell did he have his gun out? So why the hell is the... <laughs> okay. okay. Window? Okay. That's not very strong glass if we could just kick it out like that. Yeah, we could yeah. have already been damaged uh, from the I crash. Mean, yeah, we did just fall off and fly like a good chunk before crash yeah. finally crash landing. Uh, we went down the, the Looney Tunes cliff with the car. Let's see, pizza. Honestly, I wouldn't mind, and in fact, would love to see you guys play the Walking Dead games. Okay. But the Pebbage there, ones. There, I've heard that there was at least one good one recently, but a lot of the other recent ones have just been, well, the cow has Saints been dried, Sinners. so they're just That's drawing blood instead of milk. It was Saints and Sinners, and it's a VR game. Okay. Yeah, the other Walking Dead games recently have been absolute crap. Hey! Hey, officer! Are you all right? I'm still cuffed back here! I don't think he's fine, given the fact that he's halfway through the Family Guy death pose. Yeah, and, well, leaving a trail of red. I need to <clears throat> drag myself out that window. W. Yep. Oh. There we go. Look at the door, use the mouse wheel or number key to select an option. Okay. There we go. Lucky that the glass broke away is because then we'd be lacerating ourselves even more. Oh, he's lucky to be alive. Definitely, yeah. in more ways than one. Okay. Pizza. I, I have like seen a friend play all the Walking Dead games. Even Mark was there for some, and I would definitely love to see you play all of them. If not uh, all, some work too. The officer's shotgun is up there. Can we grab? Not without falling. Oop. Looks empty. Hmm. We have a busted leg, and the gun's empty. To carry with these cuffs on. And yeah, we have. Handcuffs. I don't think we can get... We're not ass. We're not able to carry a shotgun one-handed. Yeah, that's going to sting with an open wound like that. Uh, let's try and get the cuffs off first. Officer? Because then we can actually, well, much easier grab it. Let's see, let's take those. Shit. Oh, <laughs> Wrong no. key, so... Yeah, of course. Now, don't drop them again. Okay. Uh, one problem that a lot of the Telltale games do have, though, is that... It often says that choices matter, Ooh. but uh, often they don't actually have that much of an effect. Like, some do, but many stop doing that. This was the problem. Get away from me! Yeah. Simply put, at some point, they they start putting out the games way too quickly. Uh, get the fucking shell. There we go. Yeah, at this point, they were still mostly good, I think. It's just that as the years went by, they started putting out games like this so fast that, yeah, it was basically all just this. Oh, hello there. At one point, the games basically became just all the same with a different skin put over it. Yeah. I do hope they have learned from it, since they, have, they did get revived some year ago and released that new Wolf Among Us. Okay. Uh oh. Because I don't know if that's a good one or not. I don't think yeah. it's been released yet. 
I, I think um, at the absolute least... Oh, hello there. At the absolute least, I would be up for streaming this game, eventually. And yeah, of course, the shotgun drew, drew, <laughs> drew every undead in, like, what, a square kilometer or something? Yeah, I feel like this one, for this one, I feel like we are allowed to commentate on, on like, on, among, among us. <laughs> And all of a sudden, it's a lot lighter. Well, you're out of the woods. True. Away from the shade. And some other unlucky schmuck is drawing them away. How long had they been dead? Some just run away, others just happen to get the Hello. bad luck of being really hidden before waking up and yeah. starting to oh. Okay. No ladder. I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg the way it is. Anybody up there? If they are, they're keeping quiet. Oh, hello, tea set. Fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. Help! Let's see, Marco just... should have played and ended very abruptly. If you guys do like these types of games, I defo do have another game like this, like a choice-based QTE game. We played other Telltale games before, at least one. Uh, Tales of Monkey Island was one. Oh, yeah. That was definitely a fun one. <laughs> it's okay. been a very case, given the fact that it's the first day of the end of the world. Yell if you can hear me! Maybe I should just check inside the house through the glass door before wandering out into the neighborhood. I think with the zombie apocalypse stuff, it's typically not actually the first day of an in outbreak. It's just that by this point, there's just a critical mass of infected buildup, and the infection is spreading so fast that everything does seem to just crash down in a single day. Yeah, I mean, I you haven't home. really caught up with this happening, but it happens so mm. fast. Hello? Anybody home? It did mention a riot back help. in the cop car. That must have yeah. been the in Atlanta. I'm coming in. Don't shoot, okay? It's Marco, it's the monkey angle is a classic, yeah. And which game did you have in mind, Pizza? Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. Now it looks like it's a bit late already for that. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Those are some small hand prints. Or am I just... Also, I just realized he slipped and fell on the open wound. Yeah. Is that a phone? Two a phone? microwaves? Yeah, yeah, two yeah, microwaves, wait. okay. The one might be a microwave oven. I think those can be different. Yeah, my, yeah, one could just be a small oven, the other is just... Hmm. Plus, sometimes one of you wants mac and cheese, and the other one wants uh, whatever else you can put in the microwave. Oh, hello. It's a radio. A walkie-talkie? Both. It's a walkie-talkie. Or radio depends on your perspective at this point. Hmm. Nope. Hmm. The Marsh House. That's a Savannah area code. But that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. Ooh. There are three new messages. Oh, it's oh, okay. a phone we're hearing. Maybe the 
There's something on there. Three new messages. Message one, left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message two. Well, someone's done for. Yep. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Hey, well, please let fine. me know that you're safe. Message three, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. Yeah, looking at the time, yep, Lee's been out for quite some time. A good few, five, six hours. You need to be quiet. Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me, but I'm hiding until my parents come home. Yeah, your parents are kind of stuck in Savannah, and one of them got bit, so I would say yep. they're fucked. They're probably dead. Yeah, they're probably stuck in someone's in stomach or digging out someone's stomach. What's your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. How old are you? Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. Where are your parents? You know that. They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the I'm boats are? I'm guessing we know whose blood is that then. Where are you? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Well, I guess we found the babysitter. Yep. Oh, they want to kill the babysitter. Ah, ah. Okay, Ow. that's a neck injury. It... Okay, that was a lucky shot. Fuck off. Sit down. One more. Okay. Ugh. Man. Well, we're going to need a change of clothes, oh, a bath, and a large glass of bourbon. Did you kill it? You mean she... something else did. Before me, I think. I heard her scream two nights ago. Maybe one of the monsters got her. Two that's Sandra, yeah. Yeah, that's probably what happened. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. Wait, how long have we been out? It might be a little while, you know? Oh. Either well, we've been out for a couple of days, or the apocalypse has happened, you until then. and we haven't noticed. What should we do now? We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. 
Let's go. Stay close to me. If I remember correctly, there are diverging paths that you can take in these older Telltale games, but mm, a majority of choices only lead to smaller differences, I believe. Like, I believe there is one thing in this, one point in this game that fans complain about that no matter what choice you made, the other. <laughs> Uh, the, uh, it wouldn't matter either way because, uh, yeah, <laughs> what you did would get undone the very next. Ooh, hello, oh, episode. I ain't never getting home to Mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. <laughs> hey, hello. From a pizza, a sonopocles is a strange danger to the What's max. The <laughs> Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? They won't. We should go. Then they'll find me, right? I won't leave you alone, okay? Yeah, probably best not to break that her parents are dead hey, so man. soon. Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chop. Do you know what we're the like... hell this is? No idea. So you've seen them then. You could say that. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee. This is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Just some guy. Some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. But, uh, if, if we'd been out for eight hours, that wouldn't make sense with what that Clementine saying that she heard Sandra stream in a stream two nights ago. Do, 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 listen, do realize. This outbreak did not take place in just a single day. It probably just spread out. Like yeah. Lives today. So yes. it could make sense. Yeah, it, 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 the critical mass can build up in different places differently. Like, typically the outskirts would probably be hit before, well, an infection would spread into hospitals in the, 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 in the cities. And then so if it's not just in the city, first out there. It be reversed. Hmm. True. Yep. Marco, I don't All know. Right, it's just Marco. a theory, a game theory. <laughs> Matt Pan is actually quitting with that. Yeah, he, yeah, it, he will be time. missed. Yeah, but it's understandable it, with his uh, family and all. Yeah, home. he does deserve the break. I would say. No sweat, man. Oh, I'll catch break, you tomorrow break. night. It He'll still nice be involved, I believe, both. but more in the background. Yeah. He's stepping down as hosts. I shouldn't call it the break, just... Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you, then. You've brought a couple guests. I was to say, he's, he, d he deserves the retirement. Glad he could be a help yeah. To somebody. He's so been doing it for you and your daughter, over ten years. Oh, not his daughter. He's, yep. well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Yeah. Well, Smarts testing uh, if she's there. been kidnapped. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's not doing so good. I can help you out. 
Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Is it March 2nd, his last Game 3 video as hosts? Let's have Not a sure. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Could be, worse. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. I believe some of the characters we can run into are characters who are in the live action show as well. And in the comics, car because accident. we are at the That's Green so. family well, farm. Before the car accident. I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. And we already say that she's name, not. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. right. You don't want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. And if your leg gets hot or the swelling... You wouldn't have to have a pair of probably dealing with clothes because I'm covered in blood. That? Yeah. I'll probably just have to shoot you. Uh, wait, what? It, redress it and you'll be fine. Okay, oh. that'd be preferable. Far more humor. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. <clears throat> this has been a very strange day. Yeah. It smells like... Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. <laughs> I missed my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. You know, it's funny how in Love for Dead you start in Savannah and have to make your way to New Orleans, and here you start in Atlanta and have to make your way to Savannah. <laughs> One PTSD nightmare later. Uh, Marco, hey, oh god, yeah. time to meet Duck. Screw Duck, all my homies hate Duck. <laughs> okay. Good, itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in no offense. There's a tractor and everything. This is Duck. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Dodging or quacking? Quacking. Dad! <laughs> because he won't stop See? talking. <laughs> the word is, you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. 
I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Yes, shut up, you. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to Well, so long as the kid doesn't do anything stupid with heavy machinery, we'll be fine. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Okay, the timer has already gone off, but let's try and find a... Well, <laughs> this is a good point to cut it off, I'd say. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This looks more promising than uh, Wolf Among Us. This one basically can enjoy the story in co commentate on. Yeah, we, we still have to react quickly to things, but I think the thing with The Wolf Among Us is that it starts a lot more action y. Not sure about later Extremely. parts of it. We barely had a moment to breathe in that one. Yeah. Uh, also, one last thing. I believe that the reason it's called The Walking Dead is because the virus is supposed to be airborne, I believe. So, actually, it, pretty much everyone is already infected, and thus they are, well, The Walking Dead as well. Oh, I recall that on the yeah, season finale. The fact that the virus actually activates when you die of anything that doesn't destroy the brain. Destroy the brain. So if you like get shot, you give it a few minutes and you get up and start eating people. Yeah, Unless old, old the, age. This is this yeah. is the the air of our cremation is mandatory. Yeah. yeah, and it's been a while since we've hit seven games with this. So think, yeah. I think we had once we hit eight, but that was more of a, a lot of games where well, it makes it boring or just a yeah. mess. Yeah, yeah, this is, well, doesn't really say itself much, but this is Warhammer 40k Gladius, which, well, let's start the introduction on it. Gladius Prime was a bastion of humanity, newly colonized. A suitable base for our chapter to rebuild and recruit. We Space Marines raised our fortress here. What's my range? Strong again. But the Orc invasion brought a warp storm that cut off our Emperor's light. And the dread Necrons crawled from the earth beneath our feet. So your typical low uh, planet. On all sides, yet we are the Emperor's chosen. We do not dread the dark or quail at the relics of old. Terror is for those who oppose us. We know no fear. Because it's been genetically worked out, I believe. Which is kind of a cheat. Hey. I think someone needs uh, uh, one of those uh, fresh mints or something. But he sounds a little bit uh, horse like cold or something. <laughs> Let's see. Welcome to Gladius. To move the camera, position your mouse over terrain. Click and hold the left mouse. Or once you are comfortable, click OK. Space Marines deploy most of their crucial infrastructure from orbit. To found your fortress, which is the backbone of your chapter on Gladius and everything elsewhere, click on the Deploy a City button in the operational panel in the top left and select an empty tile in sight. Note that Space Marines only have one city. Okay. Uh, deploy a city then. Drop it down there. Of course it comes in a drop pod. Okay. Found a city where it all starts. Cities gather resources required to fuel your war machine. The city screen displays all the resources related to the city. Hover your mouse over each resource to find out more. So we have population, growth, requisitions, energy, research, influence, and loyalty. And as you can probably guess, this is basically Warhammer 40k civilization. Oh god. Let's see here. Buildings are listed with their available actions. Note that all buildings of the same type are grouped together and can only perform one action at a time. Although multiple actions can be queued up, the required resources will be immediately subtracted from your global pool. Okay. 
before you can construct additional buildings, you have to claim more tiles. Go ahead and click Acquire Tile and select a tile with one or more building slots adjacent to your city borders. Acquiring a tile will take a few turns and cost some influence. Okay. Uh, wait, where was that one? Ah, there. Acquire Tile. And all of these are basically the same. Uh, let's move this way. Take your time to explore the interface. Every ele element has a hint to provide you with extra information. Whenever you are unsure what to do next, refer to the red task button on the right side of the screen. It will help you focus on the next task before you end your turn. Okay, we've got some units to order. Move the selected unit by pressing the right mouse button over a destination tile. Holding the button down will display which path the unit will take. Each unit can only be moved once per turn. Let's move over there. Okay, we are at the absolute bottom of the map here. Move the selected unit. Okay, yep. Yeah. You. Oh, hello there. Skull altar. And something glowy here. Oh, the, a Necron tomb. We probably want to avoid that. Pladius is full of unknown treasure and vicious alien creatures. As you explore, you will receive discovery notifications that can be opened to reveal more information. Some terrain can be explored for rewards, while other features uh, might hurt your unit. Tread carefully, the planet's life can be ruthless, but if you leave it alone, it may spare you. Okay. To open the city screen, you can click on the city name. Core uh, Imperi. Mm -hmm. Or the headquarters twice. You can also select the city's defenses by clicking on the headquarters itself on the icon above the city. All cities have limited firepower and they will defend themselves when attacked. Make sure to protect your city at all costs. If you lose all your cities, you are defeated. Okay. There are ruins of Ball in sight. These ruins provide rewards for the first player exploring them. Some even provide a powerful ancient items that can be later equipped by heroes to make them stronger or excel at specific encounters. Okay, so we sort of get Warcraft 3 hero units as well. Uh, Station like units. It. Some units cannot move but can still perform actions. If they have weapons, like the city headquarters, they can attack to perform an attack. Uh, this unit is able to carry uh, uh, oh, the transports. Uh, carry inventory units as cargo. To embark, move the unit you wish to carry onto the transport tile. Embarked units will normally not be able to disembark in the turn they have embarked. Okay, uh, research, typical stuff. Let's see, armory, frag grenade, orbital scan, tactical doctrine, increase accuracy of tactical space marines. Uh, yeah, typical stuff. The more research uh, research you have, the quicker this will go. Uh, let's get the frag grenades. Probably the most... Uh, okay, I think it was advising to build this. Building that produces heroes as well as generates influence. Okay, let's build that instead. Yeah, that would be good. <laughs> and turn. And then we can move again. Let's see. Tiles with special out, uh, resource features can be captured by moving a unit on them. It will construct an out this will construct an outpost, providing you with a small but important bonus to your resource output and giving the unit stationed there uh, increased damage reduction and healing rates. Defend your outpost or they may take be taken over by other factions. Okay, that's one big difference from a uh, civilization right there then. <clears throat> So there's, at least with the Space Marines, less of a focus on having cities and more about on outposts, I'm presuming, then. We got a Blood Blessing. That's probably heresy. <laughs> Either that or insert joke about the Blood Ravens here. <laughs> they they um, just steal the entire shrine. Plus yeah, its foundation. Yeah, with the Blood Angels. <laughs> Let's see. Space Marines are able to issue tactical, or strategic and tactical operations by expanding influence. One such operation is the deployment of a Fortress of Redemption, a stationary unit that secures additional special resource features. Placement of Fortresses of Redemption is key for Space Marines to gather resources beyond their city's reach. Okay. What is with these lines here? I'm presuming that means that that's a difficult terrain direction or something? Land grab. Every unit has a variety of statistics and attributes, traits, da, 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 each with their own range. Mm -hmm. 
Some might have fear auras or unleash powerful artillery blasts. Okay. Let's see. 8 armor, 15 health, 8 morale, uh, 1 action, 3 movements, and level 1 of 10. Hmm. Okay. And the, the outpost is automatically created. Okay, just by moving on to it. Terrain affects units in a variety of ways. Forests and Imperial Ruins have an increased movement cost for ground units and make it harder to see and fire across. Height differences may also prevent your units from you know, having a clear line of fire. These tiles are marked with red. Uh, tiles marked with red indicate enemies that can be attacked from your current position. Okay, that's a webway gate, yeah. So, okay, that's what these lines are. Height differences. I'm presuming, yeah, definitely. Okay, this unit has a rapid fire weapon equipped. Units with rapid fire are able to cause much more damage at close range, but it can still fire from further away. It might be worth moving closer before attacking. Are there actually enemies there? Or is it just attacking the webway gates then? Yeah, just attacking the webway gates. Hmm. Neutral units may not attack you as you move around them, but attacking them will surely make them angry. Yeah. Okay. Um, generates requisitions, energy, research. Research is always very important. So let's build that. Uh, there are free building slots in the city and opportune time to make plans to expand your army uh, of infantry construction. Can we still... Can we can cancel that. Good. Uh, yeah. Apothecarian. Then we put that down. Okay. Then we can end the turn. Okay, this is turning out more interesting than I thought it would be. Yeah, I also looked it up the other day and thought, uh, not the heat for me to play AI. Uh, heat bolt gun. <laughs> but I could see us stream this. Depending on the story. Yeah, I don't think there'll be much story typically with these. There might be, but typically uh, civilization games are more for playing against AI or uh, against other people. A Sororitas Holy Site, okay. And Trader Encampment. Also, let's just continue shooting at that. What is that there, actually? Oh, hello. Who the heck? Units with action points remaining that have ranged weapons will automatically perform overwatch attacks. Okay. When an enemy unit enters their attack range, unless the enemy has infiltrates. Okay. Cultist. It's yeah, chaos, chaos cultists. Cultist. <laughs> okay. The compendium stores a collection of useful game information. You can read up on factions, buildings, units, reread tips, little Question mark in the top right. Okay, there. I just absolutely slaughter those. Okay. How much health does that have still? Move away one. And oh, we lost line of sight, so we can't shoot. Okay, those are retreating. Research complete, Reclesium. Building that produces heroes. Da, da, da. For those rare ceremonies that require the attendance of every battle brother, the vastness of the Reclusium allows the entire chapter to gather. This is the most precious place in a fortress monastery, home to its most sacred relics and in a rare view, the very body of its Primarch. It is also the seat of the chapter's commanders and heroes. There was an achievement there, but I <laughs> overlooked it. Uh, I saw it a little bit, but I ignored it for some damn reason. Let's see. Let's move up to here and try and finish this thing off. There we go. Okay. Research. Mm -hmm. Let's go with an armory for now. And turn. Okay, and we have some cultists to chase. Yep, Overwatch, of course. Not that that's going to do much. 
Like only two health lost in both fights so far. Let's see, Marco. Well, I'm gonna go grind on Monster Hunter. See ya. Okay, have fun, Marco. And have also, fun, good luck. Yeah, let's see. Okay, so if I lose my mind during the zombie apocalypse, I'm just gonna blast my brains out. Basically, yeah. Uh, as a grim as that is. Another gates. Uh, Tundra? Wait, where on the planet are we? I thought we were in the jungle. Construct the building. We are in, well, very wacky environments. Wire weeds. Hmm. It would be nice if we could get a description of what that does. Uh, I'm feeling wire weed is something you don't want to walk into. It's probably s it slows us down. Hello there. Crude hounds. Aren't crude part of the. Uh, of the towel? Yeah, and crew towns are literally related to crude. <laughs> okay, are... so same species, but. Uh, how to explain this? You know, the crude can adapt the DNA they eat from uh, enemies and animals? I remember a bit about that, yeah. Yeah, that's how crew towns came to be. Let's see, can we have each of... Okay, we can have each of these parts act something, uh, do something. Okay, so it's not just one thing that, that a city can do. You can now produce units, queue up as many as you like, but watch your resources. Since this is a separate building type, other buildings can keep producing at the same time. Okay. Yeah, uh, as I said, mm -hmm. or Kroot, they eat so many canine-like animals that they ended up... Um, of the generation becoming uh, something like them. They enjoyed, enjoyed the doggy style just a little bit too much. Why do you have to phrase it like that? <laughs> but yeah, because they do. How else would up, I? They do end up uh, putting them to some use. And what that's a good thing. They're a gorilla. Which they ride. Did they make a new uh, mount recently? that I don't think is related to them. I think it was called a Kalamandra. Okay. Hmm. So they are not so much gene stealers as they are gene eaters. I used to just eat all the genes as well, but yeah, they... They eat and they... Adapt. They usually have a lead that they help them organize which gene they should take. But they uh, have a bunch without a leader. They eat recklessly, they can uh, just ignore their, but they're told not to eat. Yeah, they can become an animal and then become someone's mount, or hunting dog instead. Okay, it looks like it probably would have been better to put this thing away from water, since oh. we can't claim water tiles. I think also they have a very strict rule of not eating anything that's corrupted by chaos. Yeah. Or tyranids. For very it's... obvious reasons. Home to anything that a marine might employ to purge the battlefield of Xenos and heretics, from the simplest combat knife to the most re uh, redoubtable of relics, the Master of Ordnance keeps a close watch upon the uh, chapter's war gear. Only his G print, gene print can grant access to this titanic underground repository of weapons and vehicles. Okay. Let's go capture this. And um, let's see. This is a bit higher ground. Oh, good amount of visibility. Just plink off the armor. There we go. Chaos purged. Now, new research. Assault Marines. The jump with jump packs. Chaplain. Zilla's hero unit that raises morale and inspires loyalty. Cluster mines, dormitories. Hammer of Wrath requires Space Marine or Armory, or Assault Space Marines or Armory. Uh, grants Assault Space Marines, Dreadnoughts, and Scout Bikers the ability to perform more devastating attacks. And Land Speeders. <laughs> I think we know what we're going for then. Oh dear. Okay. So, have you played the... Where is it? Zombie army games. Uh, from Elite Four, uh, Elite Sniper, or Sniper Elites. Look at the specific one. 
I don't think I've ever played those now. Yeah, well, it's... Well, I have them. Well, I have the trilogy, I don't have the fourth game. I have, like, Zombie Army trilogy with the, the first three games. I don't have the, um... Fourth one. But... They're pretty fun, and they're also co-op since it's four players. Yeah. Yeah, we could, yeah, we could uh, play that sometime. Oop. Yeah, there's a bunch of doggies there. Oh, and what the fuck? Enslavers? Oh! Oh! No! Um! Yeah, that's um. That's one of the original inhabitants of the warp. Mm, Even yep. demons dislike and don't want to be near them. AKA roll back and heal. Yeah, Let's see. Enslavers are no yoke people. Let's see, ex expected two out of seven casualties. Uh, anything on, is that on our number or there? Two out of seven. We have five Marines from the looks of it. So, yeah, I assume it means them. Uh, let's see, let me get a one, two, yeah, seven. Does that mean that they expect, okay, we, they expect us to only kill two of them because they're in better position there? But I'm uh, in the forest, you're not. Let's pull back a bit then. There are some frighteningly powerful creatures on Gladius Prime. It would be wise to get her a sizable force before engaging these beasts. Yeah, very good in, uh, suggestion indeed. Yeah, I just I hope these can't... Oh. Wild. Okay, they have the same amount of movement speed, so they'll probably be able to catch up to these. Uh, hold position. Hopefully that gives a bit of defense. Okay, they're stealing that. Oh, hello. Oh, and of course, the bloody Necron just immediately starts shooting. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that. The Necrons may only have emerged from their slumber uh, recently in galactic terms, and only a fraction of them are awake, but they have already proved themselves a thorn in the Imperium side. Relentless, heavily armored enemies with devastating firepower, they should be fought with care and respect. Okay. Oh, still a survivor, that's a bit surprising. Uh, just Shit, you live. get to running. You are now a scout. You demoted uh, him? Technically, since he's the only man left alive, he's now the, he's now been promoted to scout. Yeah. <laughs> okay, more tactical marines. Uh, yeah, let's. What do we build? I think, Influence. Um, uh, call it right now. I'll see you guys later. Okay. This is wrong. Uh, you guys too. Uh, we're going to end anyway so soon. Yes. Yeah, thank you for being here and see you next time. See you guys too. Yeah. See ya. Uh, Right, we still need to decide if he's play, playing more Slime Rancher or uh, Odd Space. Yeah, if anything, or maybe something completely different. And now the Necron are finding the <laughs> Enslavers. Okay, enemy of my enemy is a useful fool until <laughs> I'm strong enough to take them out. <laughs> yeah, there's another tomb there. Uh, I definitely... Definitely, this is turning out a lot more interesting than I thought. It's definitely not just civilization, but 40k. It's definitely leaning a lot more towards aggressive expansion, or at least aggressive claiming of outposts and exploration. Because there is something that can happen with a lot of save games that most f fact, most of parties just end up, uh, yeah, turtling up, and nothing happens until someone gets either a cultural or scientific victory. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Unrailed, multiplayer, maybe. No. V Rising, uh, multiplayer, maybe. Vampires, mm. chill stuff, maybe. Viscara could probably also be used for multiplayer shenaniganery. Vulgar, I'll look more into. Yeah, investigation. Yeah. Walking the, Dead. Hmm? Maybe yes. Okay. Yeah, like it, 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 is it more 
commentary friendly compared to uh, Wolf Among Us that there was so what has decision almost non-stop there. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Pizza. All right, I'm so fucking done. You remember this game I was talking earlier about? It's so awful. It gives you ads randomly to make you buy it. It's like loot crates just randomly when you are playing. Uh, yeah, that <laughs> that was to be expected when you got a free game yeah, pizza. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, so Walking Dead's likely, I'll say. Yeah, it, it looks promising. And Gladius... Uh, yeah, I didn't see anything about this. Let's let's take another quick look. But if there isn't an actual story campaign with this, it'll be a no. Though I might play it myself. Uh, let's see, new game. Yeah, it is just Civ play. Only against AI or other people. <clears throat> okay. That means that we've gone through seven games, and that means that next week we will be starting with Necromunda Hired Gun, which well, oh. I placed here because it's another 40k game. <laughs> I recall people not liking this one. I've heard mixed things, like it being very good on the graphical side and stuff, but that it's it's problem. I think it might have been that it was very glitchy at start or something. We'll find yeah. out ourselves. Yeah, but I think it, what I heard was more of when it was recently released. Yeah. Uh, we'll find out next week. For now, though, let's see, Pizza The Walking Dead is pretty commentator-friendly, am I wrong? Okay. For now, right. let's go look for someone to raid. Uh, let's see. Let me change it over the screen share, because there's not too many people at the moment. There and there. We have... Dr. Misunderstood with Dead Island Riptide, Definitive Edition. Moonrise, who is playing Jackbox. Sour Walrus, who is playing Final Fantasy VII Remake. Jobbers the Moon Seal with, El Seal with Elden Ring. Pardon? <clears throat> Your pardon. Isaiah Rosier playing Helldivers 2. Broadcast with Demon's Souls. Not Demon Souls. Demon's Souls. Is that actually... Oh, apparently it's their three-year stream anniversary. Okay. <laughs> that right. means that they started at some point similar to us. Oop. Timer. And then we have Dynalope, who is playing Disco Elysium, but we rated them yesterday. K9 is also playing Helldivers 2. I'm, I definitely put Helldivers on my wish list, so I'll definitely grab it eventually. Likely on discount because, well, I'm a cheap ass. Never already have way too many games to play. And last but not least, we have Voracious the Dwarf with their Psychology Open House. Uh, let's see. A pizza? Mm. Wait, Necromanda? Uh, please, for the love of God, tell me it's necromancy related. No, it's not. Well, technically, you c technically every servitor is necromancy, but no. <laughs> Uh, might have someone you can raid. I just need to refresh Twitch. Never mind, they are playing something else. Well, I don't have anybody. <laughs> okay, so no pizza raids. Okay. Any of those sound interesting? Or should we look at recommended channels? Or shall I just pick? I will let you pick, for I'm unsure who to pick at the moment. And also... Uh, double check, yeah. Since our anniversary will be on our damn Friday... He been think of maybe doing a separation for the entire week, and maybe do. I will say this again. Maybe do double streams where we can, but that's a big maybe. Yeah. Um. <laughs> it will depend on what we are given, basically. Let's go raid his his I think it's been a while since we did that. And then I it, I said I I'd, I'd keep track of. The people re raid, but I still forget that every time. Okay, slash raid and paste. Mm. But before we do that, let's start that, of course. Uh, thank you, everyone who, has been, everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Pizza. Thank you, Marco. Thank you, any lurkers. Uh, no, no named lurkers, according to uh, OBS. So, and, yeah, thank you, Rom. And as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend, and thank you all for watching here on Twitch or on YouTube. Yeah. If nothing gets in the way, then there might be another stream today. That was a rhyme. 
uh, slime rancher hard space shipbreaker maybe something else entirely maybe minecraft because uh, I, there is a serve <clears throat> i think i've said this before but there is a server i'll be joining yeah it's still getting set up uh, with a custom made mod pack that i've been i've been doing a bit of practicing on the, the the gimmick is going to be that every player it's going going to only be a handful is going to be specializing in one certain type slash genre or field of uh yeah mods and such so we have one person who is going to be a blacksmith weapon master and such uh, i'll be uh, mostly doing magical stuff so yeah that we can do a stream of me playing some of that mod pack not on the server because it's not up yet unless they put it up today let me double check if there's any been uh, been anything on that doesn't look yeah, like it i'll be up for that but yeah maybe minecraft maybe slimes maybe uh, I, I should probably just name it the maybe <laughs> spot <laughs> yeah and also i do want to apologize for the earlier political commentary we had earlier yeah just to clear i I'm, I'm I'm just tired. Like, yeah, I guess you can see, is I'm tired and a bit frustrated about all the politics. Like, I just want to look to find some uh, good videos at times, and I just feel like it's hard to escape more than the propaganda from everywhere. Yeah, that, that's sadly one of the tactics that are often used: just flood the field with bullshit, so that people start to distrust the entire system. Yeah. And, uh, I just want everyone to get along. Yeah. That's why I... That's probably why I dislike extremists, but they're on both sides trying to pull, trick everyone. Uh, but yeah, leaving that aside, let's get so yeah. that raid started. Oh yeah, I'll be apologize again for it. Okay, accepted on my end at least. But yeah, let's start the raid. And yeah, thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for undead seagulls. And uh, just anything from the Warhammer 40k universe. Oh, uh, what the heck? <laughs>